got a new series now. That's right. I've got three books about the Raines brothers, which I just loved writing these books. They were just such great guys and so much fun to, of course, they're all good looking and you know, masculine, very masculine. They're Western men. Uh, the first book, Against the, Against the Wind, is set in um, Wyoming. And since I live in Montana, it really was an easy place for me to write about. The second book, Against the, the Fire, set in Dallas. I and mean, we spent some time down in Texas a couple of years ago, so I was fairly familiar with that area. And then a little research on top of that. And then Against the Law, set in Scottsdale, which is a great place to go in the wintertime. It's beautiful, so I had a lot of fun being in some of those places. Does it make it more fun when it hits the New York Times bestseller list? It hits the Times list. That was very exciting. I had my last historical hit the, hit the New York Times list, but I was really ready for a change. So when these books came out, I had a little trouble convincing the publisher. They did it, but they were kind of not very hopeful that it would work because they didn't think my audience would transition over to contemporary. But I just had a feeling that my style would carry me into a little bit of a different time frame. So we, we, we did the books, and the second one hit the, the first one was on four weeks against the wind, has been, was on four weeks against the fire, is on the, this is the second week, and it was in the main list last week. So really good stuff. And I got, of course, the third one against the, against the laws coming out, and I really have high hopes for that one because it really is my favorite of the three. So I'm hoping that readers will really like it. So you started out with a three book series, but are you going on with it? I am, you know, I have had such wonderful reception. I, I've had the best letters probably I've ever had on a book from Against the Wind and Against the Fire. And um, I, it was funny because when I got to the end of Against the Law, I just wasn't ready to quit. I decided that um, I had introduced a couple, three new characters in the last book, and I, they were all ex-military. They were helping the hero to find this missing little girl that he's searching for, and it, it, they were just naturals to be to be books. So I've done, I've got three more coming, and the next one's out in November. It's Against the Storm, so you'll get to meet those three guys in Against the Law, and then uh, hopefully you'll want to read about them in the fall when they're out. Are you prepared to say where you're going from here, uh, writing wise? Three more. Yeah, you've got Against the Storm, Against the Against the Night, and Against the um, other third one. Against the storm. Sun, against the sun is the third one, which I have not started, so I'm, I, get to, I get to mess up a little bit. Uh, I, in between, I've got, coming out very soon, I've got another little um, hardcover, gift size hardcover. I had a book out last Christmas called Against the, uh, or I'm sorry, it's called The Christmas Clock. And that book uh, went into mass market paperback this Christmas, and now for Mother's Day I'll have a little hardcover called um, A Song for My Mother. And uh, that's coming out in April, May, and then for Mother's Day. And then in July, the reissue of my first book, which is Magnificent Passage. And it hasn't been out in, well, really since about two months after it was out, it back, you know, in 1988. So it's going to be fun, and they did a really fabulous new cover for that book. Well, let's get this video out so they can take a little look at what it's all about. I sure do appreciate you coming. Thanks for having me. It's a real pleasure.